Um, a, as I mentioned uh, before in the time signature video, um, a measure can be subdivided into you know, two or three or four beats, right? Um, the measure of music into beats itself is called time. So that's why the sign, like those two numbers, the ratio, the sign itself is called a time signature. Um, so we're going to be going over simple time signatures in this video. So, um, a time signature is necessary to indicate two things, and th those two things are, one, the um, number of beats, um, in a bar, and two, uh, to indicate the note which is equal to one beat. So the uh, note value, you could say. In a bar, right? Um, so a, a time signature, again, is placed at the beginning of the piece of music right after the key signature. You won't see the time signature for the rest of the piece except if there is a change in time and a new time signature would appear in that case. In simple time signature, um, the upper number tells you how many beats there will be in each bar. Um, and the lower number tells you what kind of note is equal to one beat. Uh, for, simple number, uh, for simple time, the lower number can be uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, or 16. So, for example, this would be a whole note, right? This would be a half note. This would be a quarter note. An eighth note. And this would be a sixteenth note, right? Um, this is the most common right here. Sorry. Um, this is the most common right here, right? common time, uh, our quarter notes. Um, this, th these, these are pretty, these are used quite often, uh, rarely used as the lower number. Um, this one is commonly used and this one is less commonly used, but really this is the one that you'll, you'll often see as the lower number, right? Um, so therefore, if the lower number of the time signature is four, the quality of the note expressing the beat is a quarter note. If the lower number is two, the quality of the note expressing the beat is a half note. Right, so the upper number of the time signature now um, oh, sorry, the upper uh, is uh, d determines the number of beats in a bar, right? So that's generally uh, two, three, or four. Right? Again, in common time, you're gonna have uh, uh, four, right? So it'd be four, four is common time. Um, let me give you an example of what that looks like again, with uh, two, two, three, four, and common time. All right, so. Um, you can see that um, there are some lines here, right? There's some one here, one here, right? Um, the lines that are found underneath these notes indicate the beats in each measure. You can also see that the number of beats in each measure is equal to the upper number of the time signature, right? Um, now, the way we read this, or the way that we, we, we count or, or distinguish between these lines um, and beats, sorry, um, are, are through accents. And it depends on which, on which uh, time signature there are. So we, we look at, um, we call them uh, strong um, and weak beats, right? 
So a strong beat, again, is one that is accented. Um, and weak beats are one that, that, um, that aren't. <clears throat> so in a measure of four beats, right, um, in, in common time, right, let's, let's, let's use this. So the first beat, so with common time, um, beat one is accented, right? So beat one is strong, beat two is not, beat three <laughs> wow. Beat three is strong, beat four is not. So it would be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? In a measure of three beats, right here, so in three, four, the first beat will be strong, so one, second one will be weak, and the third one will be weak. So over here be one, two, three. One, two, three, and in the um, uh, uh, measure of uh, two beats up here, right? Um, this one, right? Uh, the first beat is strong, and the second beat is weak. So this would be one, two, one. Um, and, and at this time, it's, uh, it's important to introduce uh, simple duple time. And this is what 2-2 two, two is. It's, it, it's duple. That's what they call it, duple. Um, duple time. Uh, the the, um, the upper, upper number of the time signature will always be 2. This means that there are two beats in each measure. The lower number indicates which note will, will receive the beat. And in this time signature, it's going to be a half note, right? So there'll be two beats, and each beat will uh, have a, uh, a half note. Um, uh, another symbol that represents 2-2 two, two time signature, it's kind of similar to the C in common time right here, although this is 4-4. Four, four. Well, half of common time would be what is known as cut common time. And let's write that out really quickly. So, uh, let's write over here. So, duple is the same as cut common time. So you put a cut through the C. And this is also known in, in Italian as uh, alla breve. That's just some random musical term that, uh, you, you should probably just know, know this, right? the symbol. Just like this is 4-4 four, four, over here, this is 2-2. Two, two. Um, that's it for, for simple time signatures for now, I think. Basically we just went over the uh, simple time signatures, which again, the lower number could be any of these guys. The upper number is usually this. So we went over 2-2, two, 3-4, two, uh, 4-4, four, 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 which is common time, and 2-4. So uh, stay tuned for next video. Thank you.